doing some glamping in Pocklington in Yorkshire very close to York City it is actually a village in Yorkshire come glamp with me in style come on it's so fun doing this oh my goodness I'm so loving it initially I was so scared as in oh glamping I've never done it before but now I think I'm so so loving it and I'm just gonna go to York City and see what they've got for me there today come on guys this is where we're glamping today and the lady you see in the background is the owner of the glamping site it might look small from the outside but trust me it isn't really what it looks like on the outside it is big on the inside and very cozy probably the reason why they call it glamping because normally when you're when you're camping you don't get the luxury of having a bed <laughs> in your camping nest or whatever you call it but as you can see we've got executive bed in there well insulated very warm in there just warm feeling so it's actually abbreviated to glamping from glamorous camping so glamping means glamorous camping so glamp with me in style come on as you can see we've got the queen size bed a queen size bed and two single beds we didn't really get to use all the beds because that was a little bit too much for us. But can you see the inside? The finishing. The the the, the, the sight of it is just breathtaking. Whoever that came up with this idea is such a genius. Uh, I think I to uh, video the roof of it. You would have seen the lighting very beautifully made. It's called um, heating inside, a radiator I mean, beautiful. You can see the uh, fire extinguisher. Everything is just well put in place and it's beautiful. I applaud them. The glamping site is called Was Glamping in Ashfield, Parklington in Yorkshire, just in case you want to get there. The atmosphere here was so serene. The serenity of it was just something I can't explain to you. It's a place to just hide yourself when you want to have a good time. They've got playground for children, the playhouse, the slides for children to have fun. Children were not neglected. Everyone had a piece of it and it was beautiful. We're heading off now to New York City. To have a view of the York Minster, which I've heard so much about, I believe it's going to be fun all the way. Trust me, no dull moment with Jella. Fun, fun, fun. We're also going to be visiting the National Railway Museum, where we're going to be seeing all sorts of trains that we used in the olden days before now so don't think all these new trains you jump on are the main trains just sit back and watch just arrived at York at the park and ride 
trying to connect um, a bus to a York City where we have all the interesting things to see. Right guys, I'm just going to catch the bus to York City. This is the parking ride. Yeah. So waiting for my turn. Sounds like New York City, it's not New York City, it is York City in Yorkshire. We are on the bus now, coach, look at the coach here. We are on the coach now going to the York City where we're going to be visiting the York Minster and from there connect to the National Rail Museum of history. Oh guys, I'm in York City now. Is it city centre? Okay. I'm at the city centre now. Trying to find my way to the York Minster. Sorry, my geography <laughs> isn't the best. But I definitely will get there shortly. I think it's about five minutes walk away from here. So guys, come with me. Let's go to York Minster and have a look. I've heard so much about it though. Never been there. So let's go see what it actually looks like. Please enjoy this beautiful voice. The voice is amazing. I just found out the town centre, the city centre, sorry. Oh my goodness. So, just trying to find somewhere to get a good meal, treat myself to it, and carry on with my holiday. There's been a bit of jumping here and there, so I'm running out of breath as you can see. Oh, kind of good for me though, if that helps me keep fit because I haven't been working out lately. That's me showing the big kid in me. I'm a big kid. I can be most times, especially when it comes to f taking photos and striking photos. <laughs> so, um, just enjoy it. It's just me. I'm selflessly a big kid and I can't help it. It's something I'm never going to grow out of. So, that's just the moment. Thank you. <laughs> we were such in a hurry that we didn't have the time to start looking for a very posh place to eat so we've ended up here it's not like it's not a good place but it's just one of those pubs and the food was really nice trust me oh you're trying to feed mommy mm. thank you darling that's very kind of you i'm glad you know there's love in sharing don't ever forget that This is really tasty. 
really really tasty very tasty delicious actually that's the word delicious you enjoy your meal darling yeah cute girl yeah you love mac and cheese don't you mmm nummy 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 yum yum <laughs> Now you're gonna have a full belly and you wouldn't have to interrupt me when I'm doing my thing. Oh, you're using two hands now to eat. Well, right, I'm fed and watered now and I'm just about to go into the Yorkminster building. I've got a full belly, so. <laughs> I'm happy and uh, I'm not gonna get distracted this time because I was a bit hungry and I kind of didn't know what I was doing at some point. But let's go. Okay, we're in. See what the inside oh, looks like. There, we might be in for a lot of surprises there. So, fingers crossed, like I always say. And guess what? It's so sunny. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Beautiful weather. Beautiful weather. I think I chose the right time to come here. So, oh wow. I've got some other tourists taking photos, and as you can see, <laughs> like I did mention earlier about me being a big kid, this is just the true definition of me being a big kid here. <laughs> Look what I was doing. Oh, well, it's a free world, you know. Life is what you make out of it. If you choose not to make lemonade when you're given lemon, it's entirely up to you. So, I made lemonade out of lemon and omelette out of the eggs given to me and that is what you see in here having fun what is life without fun it's always good to have fun be happy happiness is just what you make of it so always learn to be happy How many minutes? going towards the entrance of the york minster cathedral Welcome to York Minster. As you can see, people finding their ways right into the cathedral. And right behind them, going in also to have a view of the beautiful cathedral. And going to be doing the same. Now, this is enormous. This is massive. It is big. It is big. It is big. Trust me. This is big. We're waiting for our time to get um, our tickets to be allowed into the cathedral. It's, I think it's part of what has them maintaining the cathedral. I mean the fund they get from selling the ticket, which is very reasonable. This ticket sorted out and we're right inside the York Minster. As you can see, all the tourists in here <coughs> trying to capture some very good views. 
Is that, it's quiet in here. A lot of people, but quiet. I understand there's a um, funeral here. Yeah, it's gonna start like in 20 minutes time. So whatever I'm doing, I'm just gonna be quick about it. Very big one. Big hall it is indeed. What you see here is um, the model of the chapel house roof. As you can see. It says on here. Oh, that was made by Mr. R.J. Littlewood in 1952. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <coughs> Going further in there. It's a very big. I hope I'm just getting it right. Look at that. And that's the top bit. This is beautiful. I had the privilege to capture some of the write-ups they had on the wall, which were very, very meaningful. I, I found them meaningful and quite deep and touching, hence why I had to capture them for your own view also. It's the chapel of St. Nicholas, patron saint of children. These are the people sitting and waiting for the funeral. And who's funeral it is, but whoever, God bless his or her soul. All I can say is. This is beautiful. I just can't get enough of it. Oh my goodness. Look at those. Oh yeah?
taking. It is indeed. I am not disappointed at all. Look at the roof. Very creative of whoever that came up with this idea. What a masterpiece it is. I understand there was a fire incident sometime in 1984. I think on the 9th of July, 1984, uh, this cathedral was reopened in the presence of Her Majesty the Queen on the 4th of November, 1988. The fire was kind of a setback, but trust me, people didn't relent in coming together to put the cathedral back in order, which is a good thing. Here again, I got drawn to the write-ups on the wall, but I had to cover this bit also, not letting it pass me by, because it's a thing to remember when you talk about this very cathedral. This historic cathedral, put it that way, it is historic. It's one of the archbishops buried here, called William Thompson. The reason he's got his dog at his feet was because he wanted his dog carved on his tomb because he was very, very close to his dog. Yeah. Really? Yes, so thank you. Not a problem. I appreciate this. Yeah. Well, like you guys heard from one of the people working here, who's one of the archbishops. back in the day, when he died, they had to bury him with the dog. As you can see, the dog right beside him because he was very close to the dog. Oh, what a connection. Look at that. God bless the soul. God bless the soul of the departed. See if we can. Yeah. There we have it. Oh, I really cannot read that. I've got my glasses on. It's a bit far from me, but hey, I think I'll take a picture of it and make it bolder. Oh dear. This is very interesting to know. God bless your soul, Archbishop. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also, do not forget to turn on your bell notification button for when next I upload some new videos very informative videos that you will be enjoying so watch out for my videos and don't touch the dial <laughs>